Hi, Peter here with the Power Push Mop for a clean like you've never seen. Watch what I'm going to show you. Regular mops just slosh the dirty water and chemicals around the floor. What are you doing? Swabbing a deck? Watch this. Now, this is crayon. This could be any greasy, dried on food stuff. Now, any dirt, grease, or grime. How about tough stuff? Bam! Let's kick it up a notch. Watch this. Now, the biggest selling mop in the US has got to be the old sponge on a stick. These were developed 50 years ago, not for cleaning, but for spreading wax on floors. Watch this. Now, we're going to use a little bit of this cleaner in here. And off we go to the races. Now, it looks like it does a pretty good job down here. It looks pretty good until we go over the mirror. You can see what you're leaving behind. This is the chemical film, what you don't see down on your floors here. Now, nobody ever reads those warning labels. Keep out of the reach of pets and children, right here. Um, that's pretty hard, unless you have a levitating baby or a dog on roller skates. And also, very, very expensive. That's cash in the trash. Watch this. Now, take our power push mop and first of all, use it dry. Now, using it dry, it creates a huge static charge. It's going to pick up cat hair, dog hair, dust, fluff and lint. Massive static charge. It won't just pick up cat and dog hair, it'll actually pick the dog. I'm only joking, but look, when it gets dirty, just peel the pad off and shake it over the neighbor's fence. When it gets really dirty, wash it in the washing machine. They're good for 300 machine washes. Now, it has a 360 degree swivel head, so in and around chairs and furniture. It'll lay so flat, it'll go where no mop has ever gone before, right on the chairs, tables, and furniture. With that power push handle, it makes it a breeze to get right under chairs and tables, keeping your back straight and pop right back. But look, even with a telescopic handle, so train the kids young. As they grow, so will the mop. Now, to clean with the mop, watch what I'm gonna show you. All use, no chemicals, no cleaners. All we're gonna use, a little bit of water. Okay, sometimes vodka, depending on how the day's gone. But look, if we're on tile, you don't need to go around spraying the floor. Just peel off that pad, get it wet, wring it out, and just mop away. No longer are we pushing buckets of dirty water down into the grout lines. It's gonna clean, dry, dust, buff, and polish all at the same time. Now, for tough stuff, dirt, grease, grime, dried in food like the scuff mark here, no more getting down on your hands and knees, rubbing and scrubbing. Watch this, pop up that power push handle, and that saves you back and just powers through the toughest of grime in seconds. And the last thing to show you, the only way to prove this is better than any mop you've ever used would have to be down here on the mirror. Remember, this is the chemical film left behind with all those other cleansers. Even though we have a dirty, wet mop, watch what happens. The way this cleans without chemicals, it's called micro friction and encapsulation. Billions of tiny star-shaped fibers pick up and trap dirt, germs, and bacteria on a microscopic level. It's a technology developed in Sweden and used in hospitals all around the world for decades. Now, which side would you rather be walking on at home in your nice white socks? I think you'd agree, that makes sense. That's a clean floor. Cleaning without chemicals is cheaper, safer, better for the environment, better for your pocket, 